the incident with the new frontier hands? No, no, you need not elaborate. I have been following their progress with no small amount of interest. Brave men and women all. They do our nation a great service. The existence of a fortified outpost in Mordona will do much to dissuade the Empire from trespassing on Kurth's soil. Right glad am I that you have chosen to lend your support to this endeavor. Never let it be said that House Fort Tom does not acknowledge the efforts of her allies, or her debts. Twas in the spirit of gratitude that I arranged for sundry supplies to be delivered to Revenant's Toll. That the shipment should chance to be waylaid by heretics is poor fortune indeed. Poor fortune, I say, yet not without precedent. If you would know the truth of it, these incorrigible villains grow more organized with each passing day. This new unity of purpose we attribute to their leader, the Lady Iceheart. But though I have devoted significant resources to the task of identifying this woman, we have yet to learn so much as her birth name. What we do know is that the heretics speak of Iceheart in reverent tones, and would gladly embrace death rather than betray her. Such loyalty is rare indeed, and I fear to imagine what so committed a collective might achieve. The brigands have not yet been so brazen as to risk direct confrontation here in Dragonhead. Some few of their number have, however, been sighted not far to the west of here, and with ever-increasing regularity. A visit to Whitebrim Front may bring you the answers you seek. Will you brave the snows, knowing what implacable foes may lie in wait? Halone's blessings be upon you. Though I take no pride in the admission, many of mine own countrymen are not so well suited as you adventurers to dealing with such foes. Were they dragons? It might be otherwise. But truly, I could not wish for a finer ally. You have done much for my house in the past, and I have no doubt but that I shall have cause to celebrate your deeds again, Ellen. Should you learn aught of value, pray return to me forthwith. A warm hearth and a warmer welcome shall be waiting for you.
Your return is most timely. Of their own accord, my thoughts had turned to your task and the progress thereof. <coughs> I confess, my imaginings <coughs> tended toward the grim and bloody. But you are here now, and I suspect such frivolous wonderings do little justice to the reality of your travails. Tell me, what did you learn of Iceheart? Indeed, and this transpired at Snowcloak. Of all the highlands, that towering wall has borne the worst of the region's brutal shift in climate. So inhospitable has Snowcloak become that we have still to survey the area in its entirety. Could its frozen heights conceal the heretic's hideaway? Mayhap a more robust reconnaissance effort is in order. Putting such considerations aside for the moment, we still know far too little of this Iceheart. That she is capable of commanding such a band of fanatics bespeaks natural authority, and no small measure of charisma. As much as I would like to fathom this mystery with you, the situation has grown beyond my personal purview. I am bound by duty to inform the Temple Knights and request that they bring this matter to its conclusion. Giving the glowing reports the new commander has garnered thus far, I am certain that they can be relied upon to take appropriate action. Though Iceheart's true identity yet eludes us, you have provided us with a point from which to begin. Sometimes it takes but a single stone to prompt an avalanche. On the matter of the stolen provisions, I have already made arrangements for a second shipment to be sent to Revenant's Toll. I could not well allow such an honorable venture to be undermined by one miserable setback. 